Hello everyone, this is Bobbin Threadbear. Welcome back to Prey and my newly cleaned out inventory. Now I can pick up that shotgun. Right, now I already got your stuff. You'll notice that someone uh, tried to make a glue barricade there, but... Uh, yeah, that stuff is uh, not very durable. At best, it is a temporary fix to pretty much whatever you uh, whatever you want to stop up. I think they oh I think they were also trying to use those uh, luggage carts in order to uh, blockade the door, but that did not work either. Those are just metal frames. I wonder why she had Julian Howard's password. Oh. <laughs> William Yu. That would be the patriarch of this family. Alright, all done with the other side of this map, so it's time we go over here. Oh, there's the storage locker. This is the... Okay, yeah. I was afraid there was actually enemies in here for a second, but no, that's just... That's just the turrets being hostile automatically. Because I am too much of a typhoon. Ooh. A lot of guns in here. So, hey, um... Might as well put the turrets to use, since they uh, did us the favor of providing them. But I gotta find a good, uh... angle. Alright, that looks good. Now we just make sure it doesn't kill us. Did that. There. Now it might actually be a little useful, too. Oh. Agave Astrologica. You know, they've been busy here, developing all kinds of special hybrid plants that can grow in... Uh, well, they can't grow in zero-g, because there is gravity here, but... Huh. There are two Mimic lily pads. You know, I don't want to break that glass. It's, it's a nice little pool. Maybe this is a good time to use a recycler charge. Or maybe not. And in fact, there were three Mimics there. Yeah. Turns out the third lily pad was a greater Mimic. I think I must have gotten one of them. Yeah, greater Mimics are not... You cannot catch greater Mimics by using the uh, Psychoscope add-on that I've got right now. Probably do something about that phantom, too. Yeah, the um, the Mimic add-on I have right now is only good for normal Mimics. Ambush! Oh. So there's a thermal phantom around here, too. Gotta say, I'm really liking this one-two punch with the, uh, Psycho Shock. Hmm. Catherine Bushes. Must be named after Catherine Yu, Morgan's mother. Good afternoon, Talos. Safety aboard Talos One is everyone's responsibility. 
Send all help requests or concerns to security at transstar.talos. Interesting way the perspective shifts there for the uh, waterfall. So do they just sort of spray a little water out of the corners there for the realistic water effect? I, I guess they must. Relaxation area here. Pretty nice. Anything hiding behind the bushes? Oh, just another relaxation area, apparently. Well, fair enough. Ah, that one's dedicated to uh, JFK. Backstabbed in the face. Oh, now here's a little hidden goodie. <laughs> Using a ball of synthetic material as the baseball. And of course, some beer. It's not a, uh, it's not complete the uh, baseball experience without some beer. Yeah, interesting spot there they've uh, put together. And actually, you can really get pretty high up by just by using the. Uh, Using all of the giant branches and twisty uh, trees. Now, the elevator up to Alex's office is offline. But you don't have to let that stop you. And in fact, you don't even have to uh, hack his... Uh, hack the keypad that would turn on the lift. You can just climb a tree and get up here. But I'm going to hack this anyway. Just so that I don't have to go through the big trouble of climbing a tree in order to get back up here later. You know, considering the added time limit, I actually consider the uh, level 4 hacking to be actually easier than the lower level ones. They just have more time available. And makes things easier. Anyway, we don't actually have to go up to Alex's place just yet. Technically, what where we have to go is deep storage, which is only accessible through the Arboretum. Now, of course, we're not going straight to deep storage. That's not how games like this work. But we might as well check it out right now. And open the lock. Alright, now we've got a new way of getting outside. Ivy, what is it? How's it coming? A treasure map. I, I can't get this damn thing open. Where's Danielle? Still not answering. What's wrong? Danielle tied the lock to her voice. We need her to speak the key phrase or we're not getting in here. Would voice samples work? Transcribe recordings? Yes. If they have the right words. Or if we gathered enough to map her voice to a consonant and vowel list and started running patterns. I'll see if I can find her. Or her transcribe. I'll check her room first. All right, Ivy. But look, don't do anything stupid, okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. Damn it, Danielle, where are you? Alright. Danielle Show. Uh, hang on. It's unlikely Chief Show is still alive. I advise you follow Zachary West's strategy. Hack together voice samples. Your transcribe is equipped with the necessary software. It's how you made my voice. Danielle's cabin might be a good place to get started. Hmm. Looks like this is still in progress. Oh, what's this one? Catherine Yu. Of course. The only three people that matter on this station. The Yu's and JFK. 
There's this whole area back here. Oh, there were two of them, huh? Yeah, okay. That's when you bring out the shotgun. Oh, there's a space up there you can use to climb up. Assuming you've got some glue handy, of course. Whoops. Damn that overhang. Although with my jumping ability, I might not even need that. Yeah, sure enough, here we are. Yesterday's batch was an abysmal failure. Piss poor root initiation. However, Dr. Lin from Psychotronics was kind enough to provide me with a sample of material that should multiply the effectiveness of the phytohormones when applied to already mature plants. I expect reduced time to maturity, increased yield, and an above normal salutary effect. Hopefully, it doesn't taste like shit. I just need permission to run the plant through the fabricator. Okay, so that's the guy whose uh, formula, or whose special uh, tomato is ready to go in that one sort of experimental uh, field. Damn, look at all this junk. And all of these bullets. I'm apparently shooting people a lot less than this game expects me to. Anyway. Just a few more weapon upgrade kits here. Improve the handling so I can run faster while I've got that, uh, got the thing out and firing. And I only need one water pressure regulator, so might as well drop the other one. Yeah, three organic makes sense. All right, let's see what this can do. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, Danielle Show is the IT director on this station, and her station is in deep storage, which is uh, electronic storage, basically the archive of the station. All right, spraying the growth formula on the plant. It's not growing yet. But there is a timer on this one. Let's see, gardening tips. Yes, here we are. Oh, we've got to wait ten minutes. Well, I still have to explore Alex's office. I uh, might as well go and do that. Alright, so I did not quite finish exploring that hidden pathway behind the behind the looking glass way up. So I'm going to I'm heading back to go finish what I started before I jump down to do the whole gardening subquest. Yeah, I wonder why they freeze in place like that, the bodies when they haven't been mimicked to death. Ah, oh, damn it. I missed. Come on, come on. Need to fix this thing. There we go. Great. No problem anymore. Jada Marx's cabin. Oh, and a new transcribe looks like. Captain? Did I I thought your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. Hmm. How'd she get stuck up here if she was supposed to be heading into crew quarters for that golden gun? Alright, yeah. 
Sure enough, that was another way up to Alex's office. And of course his name is in gold. Why wouldn't it be in gold? Looks like there's a lot of fake stone walls up here. Some nice gardens. An abundance of bamboo. Probably for the uh, used Chinese heritage. A nod towards that. So apparently the Soviet economy did collapse in the 80s, but it was because of the space race, not because of an arms race. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see, what good can I do with five Nero mods? What good do I want to do with five Nero mods? Backlash, I guess? Yeah, might as well. The Neural Horizon. More about Paraplexus. And the way it interacts with Neuromods. Ah, oh, damn it, it washes out. I wanted to zoom in on that. Oh, hey. Dr. Rerum... It washes out again. Dr. Rerum Naturarium. From Cologne. Apparently that's just a doctor of science... And that's just what they call it in Cologne. Like, they use a Latin phrase instead of just Doctor of Science. Or PhD. You know, speaking of something else that I've looked up on my own, the, uh, mirror neurons that Alex mentioned earlier. afternoon, Talos. In the event of a loss of atmosphere, gravity, or other serious emergency, please report to the nearest muster station. So here's another place to get the Nero mod fabrication plan. Ah, El Elazar found the missing key card. So Alex should have it now. EP-101. Escape Pod 101. But yes, I looked up mirror neurons, and apparently these are neurons that fire when you do an activity and when you see someone else do an activity. Which means that uh, it's not completely proven yet, but it is most likely the source of number one, learning by example, and number two, empathy. Hmm. Alex is very concerned over Morgan's personality shifts. I don't really blame him, honestly. If my sister started changing, I'd, uh... I would also be concerned. Ah, oh, damn it. Put you there. See what we've got back here. Ah. Alex is safe. And it looks like the backside of a, uh, another looking glass. Ah. Once things get as bad as I think they probably are, your only option is to escape. Get the word out about what's happening on Talos 1. Alex has a private escape pod. It's locked up. I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower near the chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Listen, there's more at stake this time than just us. Or this station. If just one of those creatures made it back home, 
then we're lost. I keep having this dream. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I just can't see it. But it sees me. I can feel it. Hate us. I know you know what I'm talking about. Or you will soon. So, that was Morgan in December's full plan. Not just to escape, but to escape in order to bring news of what's really going on back to Earth. To tell the world, to make sure that they would be prepared for what's going on, for what's coming. And in any case, it is actually possible to get up to that escape pod without extending the bridge, without having to hack Alex's computer. Now what you need, though, is you need a way of getting up as high as possible on this uh, rooftop platform here. Oh, what's this? Oh, I read this one already. Yeah, that's the uh, Transtar's next big goal, terraforming Mars. Basically releasing a tailor-made uh, kind of extremophile onto Mars that will convert the air into enough, will create enough oxygen in the air for human life to survive. But yeah, this is how you do it. This is how you get over to the escape pod. And you don't even need a glue gun, although it helps. Yeah, if you just keep on um, hugging the wall there, you can get across that little uh, ledge. And then drop down onto the escape pod. In front of the escape pod. But it's kind of useless because we still don't have the key. Alex recovered it, and he has hid it somewhere. Possibly in his suite. Since we do have the key to that, and December had the code for that. And yes, I remember this was here. I just... Re I remembered Alex had left his tracking bracelet up there. I had just uh, missed it the first time because I just didn't look at it. Didn't look at it from the right angle. Oh, there's a camera over here. Hi there, camera. Hi there, flashing lights. I believe we've done everything we can in Alex's office, at least for now. And we are not going to get anywhere by going into deep storage. But we do have the code for the, or the card for the crew quarters now. And that is our next destination. Well, our next main destination. Before then, we've got another 30 seconds before the, uh, the special tomato is ready. So I figure we'll just spend that time by dumping another load of junk and spare weapons. And a lot of spare weapons, in fact. And the junk... I think the tracking bracelet is actually on that list. Now that we've found it, we've checked off the box that is... We've checked off the box for Alex Yu. We don't really need it anymore. Alright, got uh, one more upgrade kit. All right, now we can move at 75% speed while firing the Q-beam. Hey, look at all of that ammunition I've collected. Oh, and the tomato's done. Harvest the superfruit. Dr. Howard's superfruit. Now, the thing about the superfruit is that it restores your health to full. It doesn't say so, but that's what it does. 
And yeah, you can actually keep manufacturing more of the growth formula and getting more tomatoes like that. I mean, I'm not going to, but you can. I just, I have so many med kits, I don't really need it. Even though I've got 300 health, and that's the only way to go from 1 to 300 with one item. Morgan, that Typhon is an unknown type. From what I can tell, it's the source of the problem with the lift. The Phantom you unleashed in Psychotronics had similar disruptive abilities. Only this one seems more powerful. Scanning it would tell you more. Alright, and this is the formal introduction to the Technopath. software running the system all the way down to the machine code reprogramming it on the fly fascinating and alarming i can patch up the code you should be fine take the lift if you need to move quickly between the three main decks on talos one it has a stop in the lobby and down in life support nice so now we can go straight to life support if we wanted to and this is what happened to henrik de Vries. of this. Okay, Dr. Cole already wiped the recording of Morgan's breakdown off his computer. The last copy is hidden in his office. I'm not going back. You'll have to get it yourself. A, C, B, A, C. Good luck. So, when he says he's encrypted this, he means that, uh, I, I got the encryption off of his computer and I would have needed to access it if I had wanted to get the uh, the full message, otherwise it would have heard, sounded like static. Oh, nice. Nice view the elevator has here. Oh. Oh, shit. The nightmare is here. The nightmare is hunting me. Shit. Time to panic. There's all kind of problems going on here. All kinds of enemies that respawn and have filled the lobby, and the nightmare just happens to be one of them. Hooray! Luckily it's going after my copy. Oof. Well. Oh, Jesus, there's more. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I am... I am being hit by a telepath. That is also a problem. My problems are not over yet. All the turrets are broken. Of course they're broken. But maybe I can at least get some extra firepower going while I am dealing with all of this nonsense. At least they can kill the damn cystoids. Okay, go after that. Don't go after me. Jesus, all the cystoids are bursting. The telepath is running. It's probably good news, but... Also means I can't get close enough to do a lot of damage with the shotgun, and the weaver is still around here. I think the weaver is the only one left now. All right. Didn't want to deal with any fear nonsense, so I... I killed it. I, I shocked it, and then I killed it. And I think all of the cystoids it summoned just exploded simultaneously. I think that's what happens. Oh, were you here last time? I think that's what happens when you kill the Weaver. All of the cystoids it summoned blow up, too. But then, maybe they just went after the, uh, the turret I fortified and 
tried to kill it instead. And it just shot them all. Either way works. Yeah, I am not very proud of my performance just there. There were several things I could have done better, but... I was actively panicking. I was not expecting three high-level enemies to just crowd me out all at once. And all of that just because I wanted to double back here and, and listen to that report, that uh, psychiatric uh, report by Morgan. And this is the number code, or the letter code that we got. This is what it's referring to. So, yes, do no harm. A-C-B-A-C. Those are the answers I need to put in. A. C. B. A. C. Clever. You seem frustrated. I have months that are just gone. I've been listening to the logs, uh, reading the I research, nothing. playing catch up. Abrasion. Do you know how many times we've had press conversation? Please hold still. This, this will is only the fifth time. time. Good as new. Does it always you go the same way? Not always. What does that mean? What do you think it means? I think it means you should be concerned as my counselor. Hello. You left nice yourself a message. You. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no. That's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know. I just know. You agreed to this. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this. That Morgan is not me. I would ne- Do you know what's going on in Psychotronics? Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Typhon? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them. You do know, you snake. How can you sit there? Morgan, take a deep breath. Here. I don't want a pill. I want this station shut down. I want Earth- Morgan. I said no. <sighs> okay. I'm going to call Alex. So, if it was a recent evaluation, then I suppose that's the uh, Morgan that created January. One of the stations shut down or destroyed. Yeah, I think it was actually worth all that pain and effort to hear that. And hey, we also got some free Neuromods too, always a plus. Why are we stopping? The shape in the glass. Do you think they're talking about mirrors? Can the phantoms not see themselves in mirrors? Not recognize themselves? Hmm. Alright, yeah. Just uh, keeping the suit damage around just so we can look at the status here. And yeah, it uh, goes from yellow down to red. If you don't repair it. But I think I can end the video here before the loading screen. Next up, the crew quarters.